Well, hello, students. As you can see, this is another episode of STEM, starring your indomitable investigator, Gourmet Gomez. At the back of you, you can see some mushrooms. And we're going to learn all about flowering and not flowering plants. What's the mushroom spin? All right, so what has mushrooms got to do with flowering and non-flowering plants? Let's look at all right, so our case today is the mysterious case for disappearing flowers. The flowers are disappearing? Ah, so my question is, do all plants need to have flowers to reproduce? Hmm, maybe that picture there is a clue. A flowering plant in simple terms is a plant that at some point during its life cycle produces a flower. A flowering plant is called an angiosperm. Remember that word, angiosperm. It is important to remember that the flower is part of the reproduction cycle. All flowering plants produce seeds, and that I know you know. Angiosperm. Work, remember it. All right, now our second production we have here is non flowering plants. Non flowering plants are those that never produce a flower. Some non flowering plants still produce seeds. This type of plant is called a gymnosperm. Gymnosperm. Conifer trees, pines, for example are among the most well-known gymnosperms. There's that word, gymnosperm. So you had an angiosperm, and now you have a gymnosperm. Mosses and ferns are the other two major types of plants that do not grow flowers. Mosses and ferns ferns, excuse me, reproduce by spores instead of seeds. So spores is your next word. So you have angiosperm, gymnosperm, and spores. Seeds are produced when pollen encounters the ovules. Some plants have both the pollen and ovules on them and can produce seeds independently. Other flowering plants must rely on pollination. Pollination is when pollen is carried from one plant to the other, either by the wind or by insects. All right, pollination is the word. Pollination. And spoons grow seeds inside a protective cell shell called the ovary. As the plant matures, what was the ovary becomes the fruit of the plant. Gymnosperms have what are called naked seeds because they are not covered by anything. Gymnosperms do not produce fruit. And as you can see, there's an example of a gymnosperm in the picture that, as you can see, is a cone. Gymnosperm. Spores grow on the underside of fern leaves and in moss. The spores dry out and fall off the plant. They are then carried away by the wind. Once they are exposed to a moist environment, the spores can begin growing into a new plant. So in other words, these tiny microscopic spores fly around in the wind and as soon as they, dry, they, they fall on something wet, like you can see these, this wet wood here, this is a moss that has started to grow here. And once the moss grows, the spores grow on the underside of that leaf and then dry out and fly away. Ah, general knowledge quiz. Let's see if you are ready. 
Okay. What are these things underneath the fern leaf? Another word for the, a leaf, a fern leaf, is a frond. What do you think those things are? Little brown bubble things. It looks like somebody's put bubbles in it. If you thought it was some kind of insect laying an egg, you would be wrong. It is a spore. Yes, those are spores. All right. Let's see. How do cones reproduce? Okay, do you notice that this close this cone is not closed like the others are? In fact, it has opened up. And when they open up, they actually release their seeds. And you can see by the table that's been over here, this this shows you how the female cone actually produces the seeds and then eventually the male cone fertilizes them and off they go in the wind. So what is this funny looking thing on the flower? Wow, looks like something that came from outer space, doesn't it? Do you know what it is? It's, as you can see from the common flower parts, a stigma. All right. These are mushrooms. Are they an angiosperm or a gymnosperm? Or do they produce spores like ferns? What do you think? Aha. They produce spores. If you guessed that, you would be correct. The spores actually grow underneath the mushroom, and that's why they've actually turned up so they can release their spores from underneath them. Otherwise, they would just be still closed up and round like little puffballs. So which one of these is not a conifer? Now, a conifer means that it's a plant that has a cone on it. The first one is brown, the second one is blue, and the third one is red. What did you think? Hmm, well guess what? All of them are conifers. The first one is a pine tree. The second one is a juniper tree. And I know that these look like berries, but if you look very carefully, you'll see that the blue berries have got like little marks on them, because in fact, they are actually little cones. And so are these little red cones that come from a large tree those are conifers. Now, your assignment for me this week is to draw these for me and label which one is an angiosperm, which is a gymnosperm, and which one produces spores. I hope that you learned quite a lot about flowering. If you did, the case is closed. All right. Bye-bye, students. I will see you again in the next episode of STEM.